This is the oldest record shop in Liverpool and for 50 years it's been selling one of the oldest chart toppers of all time. Here it is. It's even been claimed that this is the most recorded song ever, whether by Elvis, Rod Stewart, the band of the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards, now you're guessing it, or more recently by stars like Hayley Westerner and Catherine Jenkins. It is, of course, Amazing Grace. But what is so amazing about grace? What does it mean? How can we experience it? Tonight on Songs of Praise, we meet people who believe their lives have been transformed by grace. John Newton wrote the hymn Amazing Grace in this study at the top of his house overlooking the parish church of Oney in Buckinghamshire, where he was curate. Newton wrote the words from the depths of his own experience. As a young man in the Navy, he was a thoroughly nasty piece of work. Even his fellow sailors seemed to have been shocked by John Newton's behaviour. Eventually, he deserted ship to work for a slave trader on an island off West Africa. He was treated cruelly by his employer, forced to beg for food, and his clothing reduced to rags. Newton was at last rescued by a passing ship, which hit a violent storm on the way home. Sure that it would sink, he cried out to God for mercy. Remarkably, the ship weathered the storm, and everyone on board survived. This proved to be the turning point of Newton's life. He called it his great deliverance, John Newton never ceased to wonder at the divine generosity, the grace which brought this wretched soul withering under an African sun here to become a priest in the parish church of Oni. And that wonder is echoed by all those down through the centuries who've also been amazed by grace. Oh! 